Candles can be a lifesaver in an emergency, but what if you've run out? Well, in this video on Go Repairs, we're going to show you how to make your own emergency lights from things that you may have around the home. They won't look as good as shop bought candles, but they'll ensure you don't get left in the dark. But before we start, some fire safety advice. Burner! Okay, now that's over, let's begin. Every candle needs a wick, so here are three that you can make for yourself. The first is cotton string. You may have this to tie up presents, do crafts, or tie up your Sunday roast, but they make great wicks too. The second type is a strip of cotton cloth, cut from an old t-shirt. Just make sure the label reads 100% cotton. These can be cut as thin as you like. I'm leaving mine chunky for the design of light that I have in mind. The third and easiest wick you can make is to simply twist a piece of kitchen roll. If you don't have kitchen roll, then paper tissues or toilet paper will do the same trick. If you want your wick to stay up, then you can bend a metal paper clip into either of the shapes you can see now. Then simply skewer your wick onto the straight part sticking up. Don't forget to allow the wick to dip all the way into the candle at the bottom. To make our first candle, we first need to make a holder. I'm using a piece of aluminium foil that I've doubled over. I'm pressing the aluminium over the top of a bottle of vinegar. This will give me a mould of the top and somewhere to hold my wax. Fill your aluminium mould with old pieces of wax from any used candles you have. I'm using a broken tea light and a birthday candle. Then simply use a lighter to melt the wax by holding the flame underneath. If you've made your aluminium foil long enough, you should be able to hold it without it being too hot. When your wax has become a liquid pool, it's time to pop in your wick. I'm using one of my holders from earlier to hold it up. Putting the wick in while the wax is liquid will allow the cotton string to absorb the wax into the wick itself. The end result is similar to a tea light, but be careful, the candle and the holder are so light that a gust of wind can blow them over. The light design does however mean that you can float the candle on water. The next design is the easiest to do, as you only need to light it. It even comes in a fireproof container. The only downsides are the smell it gives off when burning and its wild flame, so be careful where you place it. When you want to put the flame back out, you can just use a lid. For this next design, you're going to need to raid the fridge. Take your stick of butter and put a hole in the centre. I'm using a spoon handle to make the hole. For the wick, I'm using a piece of kitchen roll twisted up. Screw your kitchen roll into the hole going down as far as you can. Now rub the butter into the wick, either by rubbing the wick around in the butter or by rubbing your finger over the butter first and then transferring it to the wick. The end result gives a nice stable flame that will last you a while. If you want to make a butter candle of your own, then make sure you use a butter with a high fat content or it may not work. While we're still in the fridge, there's another candle we can make. Take the soft wax case off a baby bell and squeeze it around a piece of cotton string. Now you have a small candle that looks like a red chiller. If you want to make the candle bigger and last longer, then squeeze more wax wrappers around it. To help your candle stand up, just wrap some aluminium foil around it and flatten the bottom. Now your hands are free, you can have a little snack on that cheese. Next, I want to show you the results of trying to make a candle from cranes. I took three cranes and put my cotton string in the middle, then I wrapped around some aluminium as before. When I lit the candle, it gave very poor results. I tried this with cranes from different manufacturers, including some big brand names, and they gave the same poor results so I would avoid trying to use it as a simple candle on its own. I also want to show you the results of lighting a crayon on its own with the paper wrapping still on. It doesn't burn straight away, but you'll notice that when the wax reaches a certain temperature, it rapidly burns. This melted wax pours all over while still on fire, so if you try this in an emergency, it would make your situation even worse. But on the upside, it does look like a good fire starter. For this next candle type, I'm going to use the same method as before, but this time I'm going to be using a bigger bottle top. Now as the name suggests, I'm going to add a bit of everything. I'm putting in the cheese wax, some cranes and some old broken candles. Then we heat and melt the wax the same way as we did before. This time I'll add the other wick holder. This method of making a candle is good if you only have very small amounts of candle making material, allowing you to make something of a usable size by adding them all together. If you remember in a previous video, I told you to save the cola can top, where we're going to use it in this next design. Don't forget to check that video out if you haven't already. For this we're using our chunky cotton strip as a wick. We're going to thread it through the cola can top itself. It goes through the tab hole on top and is trapped underneath by the mouth of the can. For the holder I'm using the metal lid of a glass jar. To that I'm adding some olive oil. It's important to dip your wick before you thread it through the top of the can as I showed you. When the wick is in place you can put the cola can top in position. The result gives a strong steady flame and you can just top it up when it runs out. I would advise you trim the top of your wick to avoid it burning with black smoke like this one, but even if you don't, it should eventually burn down to a level where this stops. 
When the time comes to put out the flame, just use another jar lid. If you enjoyed this video then please leave it a like rating. You can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos then please click on the subscribe button and on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.